outside the solar system, or the fringes, there is uh, the Oort belt, and that is full of rock, dirty snowballs. Now and again, one uh, crashes against the other, and they're thrown into the inner part of the solar system. What happens? The nearer it comes to the sun, the solar wind heats up. Heats up all the particles, and we get the tail. That tail stays in space. When it comes round, it leaves. This is a comet, Swift Tuttle. It came in 1882. So it leaves and it goes back to its normal orbit. But all these little particles are around our orbit. And those are meteors. And those are meteors, which are pebble, a grain of sand. They're not bigger than that. We get a bit, uh, another which are a bit larger, and we get fireballs then. And the Earth passes through this in July and in August. I would go to Eastern Beach, Catalan Bay, maybe by the car park or the old car park there, away from, from light. You can go to the lighthouse. You have to look northeast. <laughs> uh, better you can watch it tonight. Uh, it's, it's ongoing. La cosa que, it's not the peak. Right, the I peak see. will be on Sunday to Monday. August, in general, just a very busy month for sort of activity in the sky, right? Yeah, normally, yes. Now we're getting, actually, next month, we're getting a partial lunar eclipse which is a penumbra. Penumbra, are, it's the, the lighter part of the shadow of the Earth. It's not that spectacular. And in August, yes, we've got meteor showers. During August, because of uh, the swift tuttle com uh, comet, is very, very common.